Hey everybody, welcome to my plan with me for the week of March 25th through the 31st. I'm using this Glam Planner Arcade Kit. Uh, this was one of her mysteries, I believe. I really like this, so I'll have to see if I can pull that in. Um, I know this format is going to be a huge challenge for me because uh, she just doesn't have like the format that I'm used to, but I think the art is really cute and the colors are, so I'm still excited to use it. I love all the like Pac-Man stuff. <sighs> yeah, these colors are beautiful. They're so vibrant. And that is like probably my favorite part of the kit. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot of boxes, which is nice. <laughs> and then for foil, I have this Gamer Foil Pack from Leonard Designs in Seafoam Hollow. Um, I did just kind of like have this on hand. I was going to use it with another kit, but I changed my mind um, and swapped it out for this kit. So I've got these underlays that came with it, but then under those, I'm using these like shattered hollow solids from Kristen's planner which are kind of like blinding um and then I've got some like hole protectors from Planet Hannah um hetero release from Murdoch Talks I may or may not use those uh date numbers from Planet Hannah and then I've got the foil that it came with so I'm planning on using this um and then these are headers I don't know if I'm gonna use these because there's not enough for an entire spread so um I might just completely nix them but you'll see in a minute <laughs> I will just get right into base now Okay, so this face turned out just blinding and I love it. So to mark the month, I do have that script from Mick Plans. And then the next thing I'm marking is that it is four weeks until I see some 41 on their like farewell tour, which is called Tour of the Setting Sum, which I think is really freaking hilarious. So um, I keep telling people that and I'm pretty sure they're sick of me saying it, but I think it's great. <laughs> and then it also was Easter week. So both those scripts are from Carly Plans. 
Monday, the first thing I marked is that I did print and cut some stickers. I uploaded a plan with me and then I did finish a book, which is like a momentous occasion for me because I haven't <laughs> really read much this year. So I was really proud of myself. <laughs> I'm now reading like uh, The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han and we'll see if I can get through that. I figured it would be a quick read but I just don't carve out enough time to read. So like it is really quick to read when I am focusing on it but typically I will read before bed and I get like a couple pages in and then I fall asleep. And the next thing I marked is that I watched Harley Quinn with my husband. Um, that show has just been so, so fun for us. So um, it's very adult, but if you like cartoons, I think it's definitely a fun one. Um, but it's just, it's got a lot of language and violence. <laughs> so uh, for... The stickers on this, all of these are from Carly Plans. That's from Leonard Designs, Once More With Love. And then I made this Harley Quinn script. So next I marked that I was just like really feeling bad. Um, I've just been having a lot of pain lately, unfortunately. So um, it was definitely flaring up this day. And then because of that, I was just sitting on my couch. So I made what I am calling my Tay List. Um, it, it's a playlist. Uh, and there were like prompts specifically for like how to create it. And it's like your own Taylor Swift playlist. So uh, for our music club thing that we are doing... Um, as part of like girls nights with Sarah, Christine and I, that was something that Sarah suggested we do. So yeah, it was really fun. It was really, really freaking hard because you had to choose a total of 22 songs and, uh, Taylor has a lot of songs. So, uh, after that I did just a little bit of like research on some stuff and then I did some drawing. So, for Feeling Like Shit, the script is from Carly Plans and the uh, character is from Stick With Plan Co. For um, like the Taylist thing, I made the script and then that icon is from Leonard Designs. The computer there is from Carly Plans. And again, I did make that script. And then for drawing, this is from Sweet Ava's Paper. And that script is from Carly Plans. Tuesday, I had just kind of a chill morning. I was like playing phone games while I had my tea. I uh, took a shower. I got my allergy shots. And then I ordered some groceries, like, to be delivered. I think this was a same-day grocery delivery, so I'm pretty sure we got them a little bit later in the day. But this pattern, like, reminds me of Sully from Monsters, Inc. Um, just because it's, like, the purple and that, like, blue color. Um... Probably also because I've been playing Dreamlight Valley and he's like, I'm working on quests with him, but that's yeah, cute. Uh, so for relaxing, the script is from Leonard Designs and then the um, icon, uh, icons for both of those actually and the script are from Carly Plans. Then for getting my shots, uh, that script is from a shop that's not open anymore. And then the little like syringe is from Fabled Court. For my groceries, that icon is from Carly Plans. And the script is from Leonard Designs again. Next, I did have some planning time. And again, I marked that I was having like a flare up of pain. Uh, so I did watch Vanderpump Rules in the Valley this night. I did just mark Vanderpump Rules because I have scripts for that and I don't have scripts for the Valley. But 
typically I am watching them the same night, whether I catch it on like live on Tuesday or I watch it later on Wednesday. So and then I was just like binging Avid Elementary after that. That show is so good. Like I had heard a lot of good things about it and my mom had suggested I watch it because um, like my cousin's friend is uh, Miss Shimenti in it, if you know, if you watched it. But uh, yeah, I just hadn't gotten around to it for whatever reason. And then Sarah had me like start watching it one night when I was spending the night and I was hooked. So yeah, very, very good. So I know these days aren't like that exciting, but at least the kid is pretty. For planning time, that planner is from Carly Plans, and the script is from Plan With Me Stickers. I do kind of like, I don't think you can see it now, but how you can see like the pattern through the boxes on the white ones, I think that's really cool. Uh, then for my flare, that like awareness ribbon is from Carly Plans, and the script is from Mick Plans. And then the next three things I'm putting down are all from Carly Plans. And then lastly, the script I will put down for Abbott Elementary I made. I need to get some glossy paper because I just don't like how the ink transfers onto the matte paper. I just feel like it's not as vibrant. And I know it's not my printer because... I've printed sticker kits and stuff like on white glossy and it looks great. Wednesday, the first thing I marked is that it was my niece Nevaeh's birthday. She turned 17, which is just wild. <laughs> um, and then I did some packing because I was staying with Sarah this day. So uh, she and I met up at a couple wineries and then... We got to her house and we ordered some Jimmy John's and stuff. And then uh, while we were getting ready for the evening, we listened to her playlist that she had made. Unfortunately, Christine wasn't feeling well, so she wasn't able to come. But Sarah was like, we'll just listen to mine again. Like when we can all get together and we can listen to all three. So looking forward to that. So uh, for Nevaeh's birthday and for packing, actually, both icons are from Carly Plans. That script is from Leonard Designs. For the first winery, it is Starview, and the character is from Once More With Love, and the script is from Carly Plans. And then the next one we went to was Blue Sky, and so uh, that script is from Carly Plans. Uh, the one I'm about to put down in the character is from Mick Plans. And then for Sarah's playlist, uh, those headphones are from Carly Plans. And I just went ahead and made that script for myself. So uh, this evening, Sarah and I did decide to go to a bar. And we just kind of got ready, like I said, while we were listening to music. And then... Um, we did bring our glitter packets to the bar with us so that we could like put glitter in our drinks and, um, it's a bar that like we know the bartender at too. So it's not like some random place, <laughs> like we know people. So we brought that and that was really fun. I just like had, a, like I asked for a glass for my white claw so I could like mix it with the glitter. It was so pretty. <laughs> and then um, we got back to her house and we just kind of got emotional and did some uh, crying and talking. So, yeah. <laughs> so for getting ready, that icon is from Carly Plans. And then this script is ooh, also from her. Dang it, I pulled up some of the ink. Oh, well. Uh, then I just used that little like white claw from Sticky Perks to mark going to the bar. And then for having glitter drinks, I've got that little like butterfly martini glass from Carly Plans. And I did make that script. And then for 
um, like crying. The character is from Fox and Cactus and the script is from Planna Hannah. So Thursday was kind of a mess. So it was opening day for baseball, which I didn't even mark because I just saw a lot of crap this day. So I woke up feeling like shit because like from crying and everything, I was just really dehydrated. And then I did like go up by scooters and get us some caffeine that morning before I left. Uh, and then I started to drive home and I got on like, uh, there's, there's a lot of country roads on the way to get to like my house from there. And so I got off of like kind of a more rural road where I must have run over something and like not realized it and turned on to what is a highway. So like people drive very fast on it, but it's also very rural in that like there's no gas stations, nothing. Like the houses are like over a mile apart. So anyway, my car starts shaking. Like completely like the whole car is shaking so I have no clue what's going on like I'm terrified and I just like <laughs> I was like I don't know what to do like I need to pull over but there's like nowhere to pull over because this road doesn't have a shoulder and there's like fields and like big big ditches so I didn't want to like get in a worse position than I was in already so I was able to make it to my in-laws uh, driveway because they do live off of that highway and I mean I was so flustered I like passed it and then I had to like circle back but thankfully I was able to stop there so I called roadside assistance because thank goodness I have it on my insurance and then I guess I didn't even see what happened. So I got out of the car and I like grabbed my stuff and like kind of stepped away from it. Cause I was like, I don't know what's happening. Is my car like going to like blow up or something? Like that sounds dramatic, but it felt like dramatic when I was in it. And I kind of thought I was going to die. So, um, yeah, so I looked and I was like, okay, nothing looks like it's like smoking or anything. So I got around to the passenger side and saw that my back tire was completely shredded. Like, I am lucky that I made it into their driveway because, yeah, if I had kept driving on that, well, I don't think about what would have happened. But yeah, it was bad. I had like the worst panic attack like while I was driving and then afterwards I like, couldn't calm down so I called my husband while I was like using the roadside assistance app um which, thank goodness that you can do that instead of like calling them because I needed him to like calm me down so they came by they were saying they like couldn't tow it so we're gonna have to put my spare on or whatever and I was like okay fine that's you know it's fine I'm like, I, I was less than 10 miles away from, like, a tire shop. So, I was like, just do that. I'll drive there. I'll get a new tire. So, yeah, I did that. Um, I got to Plaza Tire. They were, like, super nice. Um, they got everything taken care of for me. I had just gotten tires, like, three months ago. Brand new tires. All four. Um, so unfortunately I did not pay for the warranty on any of them because it is very expensive, but, um, they let me like buy a warranty for next time for all of them. I mean, hopefully there's not a next time, but like, I'd rather just have it. So I did that <laughs> and then I drove home and I was just like, oh, my car feels like it's supposed to now. This is way, way better. When I got home, my laptop had arrived because um, my husband and I were, like, talking and there's just a lot of stuff that, like, I want to do um, planning-wise and things and it's really hard for me to not have a computer because, like, I can use his, but he's usually using it 
for like gaming and stuff during the times where like I actually want to be using the computer and not like planning or filming or things like that. So I got a MacBook and I was very excited about it, which made the day more stressful because I was like, I just want to get home and play with my computer. But I'm just so grateful I made it. Uh, and then I did some like designing stuff on, I think the computer maybe, like silhouette designing. Because um, I just wrote design, I didn't write draw. So I'm assuming that's what I was doing. So uh, Friday morning, the, or I guess Thursday evening, whichever way you want to look at it, um, Act 2 Cowboy Carter by Beyonce came out and I was so excited. I like pre-ordered the vinyl for it and yeah, I was just really excited to see how it was. Um, I'm not a big country music person and I love Beyonce, but like I don't know all her music. Like I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a part of the hive. Um, I just know like popular stuff by her, and I was just really excited for this new album, and it definitely did not disappoint. I really, really enjoy it. I kind of feel like I need to listen a little bit more because I'm not really sure what my favorite songs are at the moment, but. What I will say is that uh, top to bottom, there's no skips for me. So for stickers, these are from Carly Plans, uh, Leonard Designs, Sweet Abyss Paper and Carly Plans. And then uh, Carly Plans. <laughs> and then uh, that is Leonard Designs, Stick With The Plan Co., Leonard Designs, The Coffee Monsters Co., and Plan and Hannah. So um, I did some foil plotting this day while I was listening to Cowboy Carter. So um, that's why I put the jam sesh with the little like cowboy or cowgirl boots um, because I thought it was cute. <laughs> And I feel like when those stickers came out, it was kind of like Barbie related, but they worked perfectly for this. So that made me happy. Um, but after that, I did more printing and cutting stickers. I was making scripts for, I think, this spread, if I remember right. And then I filmed a plan with me and the base for this plan with me. Okay. Yeah. So it wouldn't have been, it would have been scripts for the spread before this. So, uh, then I played some Dreamlight Valley. I played Yoshi's Crafted World with my husband and I did some editing. So, Saturday, I cooked breakfast and I made a little like breakfast cocktail. Like, you know how people have mimosas, but I didn't have like either of the things you put in mimosas. So I used this like crayon pomegranate juice and a little bit of gin because I don't know. I was trying to feel fancy <laughs> and I didn't know what to do with the juice. <laughs> So I just kind of used what I had on hand. But then I gave my husband a haircut. And then we kind of had a little bit of a like spa day thing for our dogs. We um, brushed them. My husband did their claws. And then I shaved their paws. Um, which sounds like weird. But um, because... Corgis are like very furry dogs. They have fur like on the bottom of their feet, like in between their like paw pads, and it gets really, really long. So I basically just use a beard trimmer to like shorten it up in the summer because um they don't need all that. <laughs> in the winter I kind of leave it more because you know it'll keep their feet warm, but yeah, they already get overheated easily enough. So did that. And then I did some more editing, but I was editing on my laptop. So I, I was so frustrated. Like I usually 
edit my videos on iMovie, but it's on an iPhone and the program is just very different and you can do more with it, but because of that, it's more complicated on the computer. So I was struggling to figure it out, but I was able to, it just took some Googling to kind of get the hang of it. <laughs> But uh, then my husband and I went on a dinner date to a local place that was recommended by my friend who died uh, last year. And it was so good. It's like a, like they have Southern food, but they also had like a poke bowl. So I don't know, like that feels like a random thing on their menu, but that's actually what I had. Uh, and it was really delicious. And we also had some like different style doubled eggs there. So then we came back home and we watched the movie Wonka, which was really cute. And I had a fun time watching it, but I just had no idea it was a musical, which I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. <laughs> um, so that surprised me. But yeah, I thought it was really good. I loved the, the cast in it. I like both um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So um, I really enjoyed it. And I like both of, you know, both the older ones. For where the stickers are from, that's from Leonard Designs, Carly Plans, Mick Plans. Leonard Designs, Carly Plans, Joy of Planning, Leonard Designs, and Carly Plans. And then he did also um, like watch some TV this night. I finished that at elementary. I was doing some planning while I was doing that. Uh, then I also watched Not Dead Yet. And then I watched the movie You're Killing Me, which I didn't mark because like I don't really like it. Um, it was a horror movie, but... I don't know, it just didn't feel super original, and I also just found it kind of depressing, so I wouldn't recommend watching it. Sunday, this day was Easter, so I took a shower this morning, and then we went to Illinois to go have Easter dinner with my in-laws, which, like, it's technically at lunchtime, but we call it dinner. I don't know if that's just a thing in general or if that's like a Midwest thing or what, but big family meals, we always call them dinner. It was a really good time. We got to see like all my husband's um, aunts and uncles, which I mean, he doesn't have very many, <laughs> but it was good to see them because we don't really get to see them very often. So yeah, it was just a really good time. Nice to spend some time with family. Um, everybody kind of was all off in a group or like the ones that didn't have to leave early, um, on the porch. And then I was inside with his uncle Sam and grandma. Um, so, you know, that was really interesting. Cause like, I don't really get one-on-one -on -one time with his aunts or uncles like that. Typically like he was kind of asking me like how does DoorDash work like how does it work for the DoorDashers and all that and like Uber and stuff so it was interesting to talk with him and then we went back to Brian's parents house and we just kind of sat on the porch and talked more there it was just a really nice day at that day the weather was really pretty so it was good to sit out there uh, then we picked up It's Just Wings on our way home because I was like, we've got to have It's Just Wings. We have a Chili's somewhere, so I knew we had to, and that's our favorite place to get wings from, but they don't deliver out to our house. So I was like, well, why don't we just do like DoorDash pickup because we always forget that's a thing. So we did that, and that was really good. Because the other place, I think it's like Wings Etc. Their wings are fine, but they're really expensive. And, and to just be fine, that's not something I want to pay a bunch of money for. So um, after we ate, I did play more Dreamlight Valley. And then I was just really exhausted from like all the activities. So I went to bed early. 
for the stickers. Uh, that's from the Coffee Monsters Co. Carly Plans, Paper and Milk, Mick Plans, Leonard Designs, Mick Plans, Carly Plans, SPC, Mick Plans, and Fox and Cactus. So that is everything for this week. I love these colors. I think they're so fun. Um, I kind of just wish I didn't do as much this week or mark as much because the underlays are beautiful, <laughs> but you can still see them. I tried to space stuff out the best I could. So uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.